This week, we're back, and probably a little quieter. We're recording really late, and my wife's already in bed, so... But, we've got bug fixes, a new track, and, most importantly, a whole lot of community racing going on. And, beyond that, to be real, I got nothing. But, that seems like a lot to get started with, right? Racers, welcome back to another Race Recon, uh, where we're going to do it a little differently, and I'm going to try to do as much of this in a single take as possible so I don't murder myself on editing like I've done in the past few weeks. Um, I've been off. Life's been, frankly, a bear between work, trying to do streaming, trying to do all the various little things that I do to try to put this show together, and luckily, Forza decided to gift me a week with no real news, which is kind of weird in the face that they've been doing a whole bunch of updates leading up to this point. So uh, a little peek behind the curtain on how I put this together or how I started putting this together. Typically at the beginning of the month, Forza releases their series update notes. Uh, that includes all of your patch notes. It includes all the new content that we're going to have. But most importantly, it would include the schedule of events for the race. Think how it laid out the uh, Italian Challenger series or how it laid out the Open Class series in the previous weeks. Well, we don't have one of those this time, which is kind of weird to say because we have received the bug fixes report for what they're expecting to work on for update 5.0, which is again what's coming out this week or should be out this week. And we've also received notice that we're going to get the Nurburgring Neutschleife. Um, again, going to try my best with pronunciations. I did do German in college, but I didn't go very far. <laughs> Hit my step goal. <laughs> as far as what we know we will be receiving, Turn 10 released a list of bug fixes expected in Update 5 back on January 26th, and those fixes include a number of visual glitches, a number of gameplay and stability issues that will be addressed, and I'll try to do some work to produce a um, a overview of the fixes that are going to be included in Update 5 once it's released and been out for testing for a little bit. Uh, next week's schedule will be a little hectic, but we'll get into that as we go on. Uh, and as I said before, there also will be releasing the Nürburgring Neutschleife. Um, and yeah, that's all they've said so far. Uh, I'll be surprised to see if there's anything else and what our challenges will be going forward. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a German auto automotive focus for the next month, considering what we have. There's also a fair bit of motorsports starting back up. Uh, we are at the very beginnings of the seasons of both NASCAR, F1, and sports car racing. And all of those series have major races coming up in the coming weeks. So stay tuned, stay locked in here, and I'll give you updates on what's going on in Forza and the world of motorsports at large. On top of the updates that they've announced that will be coming out this week with Update 5, one of the biggest changes that Turn 10 has announced is uh, the changing to the car progression system that will be coming in Update 6. And just to cool everyone's jets, just so we remember, the update coming out this week is Update 5. So the changes to car progression aren't expected to be implemented until out in about mid-March. So... Uh, to, to boil it down simply, they have implemented a system where, first off, all upgrades will be available on our, all cars at level one. You can get into a car, you can upgrade how you like. They haven't gotten rid of the car, but they haven't gotten rid of the car point system. What they have done is uh, provided the ability to purchase car points for money. So if you want to buy a car, throw a setup on that car immediately. If you have the cash for it, you can get right to it. If you want to take the car out and grind for the car points and you don't want to spend the money, you have the option to do that as well. Um, I think I'll be taking advantage of sort of the grinding method for points for any of the spotlight cars that I work on. Uh, I had some grand ideas about doing like cost effective upgrades to hit class levels and just sort of comparing performance there. Uh, I haven't done it yet. We'll judge the temperature of it when we get there. But uh, since the spotlight cars are cars that are being driven in both offline uh, offline races as well as in competitive lobbies. I'll probably run those and just save my money on the side. I'm probably going to just grind out a lot of the cars because that's just the type of driving I do. Uh, but for all those that were looking forward to changes in the car progression system, those will be on the way. Uh, it's, a, it's a positive step 
in what I see to be turn 10 trying to show goodwill with the community that while the release of the game has been very rough, they are willing to listen and take feedback into account and move forward and update with content and update with changes to the systems. So as I've kind of said in one of my early videos, the updates that we saw in both January and March weren't what I would consider to be full updates to the game. So the first update in January is likely just throwing on emergency fixes that they had been working on before the holiday and had time to kind of put finishing touches on before uh, they shipped it out the door on the January update in mid-January. Because, again, Turn 10 is a Western company, and at least like for me, I understand that Microsoft is a giant corporate overlord, but the people that work there are still people, and we can't expect them to, like, kill themselves for this type of content. Like, yes, 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 yes. The game is the game, and you spending your money and time on something that is not a complete product, that's not something I'm going to, going to vouch for. But I'll at least, like, have some sympathy for the developers in, in the type of timeline they have. This update in March is, or excuse me, in February now, uh, is what I would honestly consider the first quote unquote real update to the game. These two updates coming in now and in March will be sort of how I will be judging the direction and pace that Turn 10 is taking at like trying to correct the ills that exist within the game. Um, I have my own list of grievances that I will hopefully bundle up someday into a reflection video. Uh, but for now, well, I have some grace to give them time. Um, yes, I did spend my money on the game. Uh, I do. I did buy like the premium version of it. I think I think I'm out of pocket 40, 50 ish dollars for like the car pass, the premium and all of that stuff. Um, am I happy with the quality of the game? No. Am I overall enjoying my experience with it? Yes, I am uh, in that sort of uh, Stockholm uh, Stockholm syndrome situation where I very much like the game. I want the game to succeed. So I've been putting a lot of time into the game and I've kind of understand like what gets under my skin about it. But until then, uh, I'm going to sort of reserve overall judgment. Uh, I guess like you'll say like it's a six month review when I finally like put my put my two cents out there. Uh, but if you want to know kind of a take a temperature, like what I feel right now, uh, my favorite joke to say about Forza Motorsport is Forza Motorsport is going to be an amazing game when it releases next year. Excitingly, we've actually had a lot of community activity going on in Forza lately. Uh, for me, the biggest thing I've been involved in is the one hour of racing LMP2 Cup. Uh, after an uh, inaugural race at uh, Indianapolis, the community came together and did a vote to see if they wanted to continue the race. Uh, there were a number of technical issues encountered by the league in its first race. And then as soon as we get through that last corner onto the kind of corner around. All right, just be oh. careful. Uh, somebody has just died. Yeah, Windows just got onto that. But we decided to make a few changes to work with the game as it is currently. And with some modification to how we were going to run the series and run rules, we decided to continue on. Uh, having our second round last weekend being a one hour race at Spa and continuing this weekend going forward with a one hour race at Yas Marina in the rain. So uh, if you're excited or interested in that, uh, come by and check it out. Uh, I stream each of the rounds that I'm participating in uh, and a number of other people in the community stream them as well. Or if you're interested in driving, you can come join the Discord community. Uh, I recommend checking out their Twitter account. The Twitter account posts updates about the races, the race schedule, and includes all the links that you would need to participate as a driver. Another growing host of community events is Blown Piston Motorsports, uh, developing his own community forum boards where uh, like-minded drivers are coming together to look for racing and try to elevate their overall experience. Uh, so far, they've done a number of time trials and uh, one-day uh, race events, uh, most recently having the Mini Cooper Cup. Uh, I unfortunately wasn't able to make that one. I was really looking forward to it, but I got waylaid by some other family plans. But 
I'm hoping and looking out for other events in the future. Overall sentiments in the community seem positive. I've taken a little time to go and kind of troll through the forums to just kind of take a temperature of like what people are feeling and how they're enjoying it. And it seems to be building up a, a nice little healthy section of the community to themselves. If you're interested in participating in upcoming events from BPM, be sure to go follow the link down below. That'll take you to the forums and they'll have a new driver orientation to get you all up to speed. And hopefully we'll see you out on the track there as well. And most recently, we have Average Fuller. Average Fuller announcing that he'll be doing the Fortona 75 uh, to coincide or to follow after this weekend's Daytona 500. Uh, it's going to be a NASCAR style race using the Whistler Radar's Cougar in order uh, to have a stock car experience. Uh, and they'll be doing 75 laps for about an hour of racing. Uh, this will be taking place on the weekend of January the 24th. Uh, at 3 p.m. So it's like right after the uh, one hour of racing LMP2 Cup. So I'll probably be rolling one to the other if I can make it all work together. Uh, but if you're interested, please go check out Average Fuller's v video. Uh, there should be a reference popping up somewhere around here-ish. And the links, of course, will be down in the description as well. And with that, I'd also be really interested to know if y'all have seen anything interesting or fun going on in the community at large. Uh, I know there's a lot of doom and gloom that's been going on in the Forza community, but the updates that Turn 10 have announced and that are being developed uh, seem to be going in the right direction. As I've said before, I wasn't one that was particularly held back by the car progression system issues that people were having, but they have announced something that seems to have appeased a lot of people within the community. So I hope that you guys look forward to more racing and more time online. So I look forward to seeing you on the track. And I also wanted to follow up by saying I'm sorry for the lack of updates recently. Uh, the last few weeks have just been a lot and like scheduling time to record and edit and put all these videos together has been hard. <laughs> uh, but I'll also be away in the coming week, but I'm going to do my best to have some content sort of in the can that I'll upload while I'm away. Um, if you guys would check it out, let me know what you think. Uh, I want to actually like post some more race recaps, some highlights and stuff like that. Uh, I want to do actually get into like the building part of like the build lab pro, uh, title and we'll hopefully be able to do more of that in the future. So again, thanks for your patience. I really hope we can meet up and see each other on the track sometime. And until next time, race safe, race smart. We're out.